So it turns out that making these videos is not as easy as it looks. Um, and so what we're going to do here is we're going to do just a little bit of a study about the thyroid. So if we say this is your thyroid gland here. Um, so here's your thyroid gland and it's sort of shaped like a butterfly. Uh, it's in your neck. And so if we uh, make that thing smaller and then we uh, draw your neck. So here is uh, here's your neck. And then uh, what a lot of people have attached to the top of their neck is, uh, of course, their head. And inside their head, now we're looking at this from the front, is a uh, big uh, mushy thing. It's real uh, knobbly. And that thing is uh, your brain. And we just drew it sort of in the middle here, but it's really sort of divided it in half. And there's some holes in the middle, and then there's some uh, white matter and then there's gray matter and right here at the bottom of your brain in the middle of this little thing hanging off and uh, that thing right there uh, you probably know is uh, that's the pituitary and uh, in here just to make sure this is your thyroid And one of the things that's always confusing about glands is how do you control glands and, and what does this thing mean? And one of the things that is confusing about the thyroid is that a common test we uh, measure is called TSH or uh, thyroid stimulating hormone. Um, and so what the uh, TSH does um, is uh, it is released by the pituitary and travels down to the thyroid. And when it gets to the thyroid, it tells the thyroid to make thyroid hormone. Now there's two types of thyroid hormone. But the main type of thyroid hormone is a thyroid hormone called T4. And then there's another one, T3. Now these are kind of a pain in the rear because uh, T4 is called levothyroxine. And T3 is called triiodo. Thyronine. Now a lot of people call it T4 or T3, except if you buy it in the store, then it's called levothyroxine or sometimes called Synthroid. So you may have heard Synthroid, Synthetic Thyroid. Um, now what's interesting is that the thyroid makes mostly T4, but what the uh, most active thing in your body is, is T3. So we will just show that this goes to various places in your body and it uh, is active. For To get from T4 to T3, um, you need a hormone or an enzyme. And this enzyme uh, helps a lot of people feel good. Because if you don't have enough T3, you don't feel good. It turns out that T4 is just easier to give people. T4 lasts in the body longer, so you don't have to take it as often. And it's gradually converted over to the active form, T3, or triiodothyronine. And uh, everything's copacetic, so that people take their... Synthroid or their levothyroxine usually once in the morning. Let's say, uh, oh, an average dose might be a hundred micrograms, and uh, they like us now to use this 
in CG, 100, that equals 100, and the same thing, micrograms, uh, that equals point zero point one milligrams. Um, and remember medically, whenever you make a point one, you should always put the zero there. If you say point one milligram, uh, every once in a while people write that real fast and they write something like, and maybe people think, oh, that's 11 milligrams or something like that. So um, just make sure that when you write that, you write that uh, properly. And usually we don't even write it that way. Usually we do the 100 